You know, many times I've had the scout say to me, you're going to love this guy. It's awesome. He can run 4-3. He can, you know, he can jump out of, out of the building. And, but really, I think there's a certain aspect of it that is they've got to fit into the team. And they got, they've got to be able to control their individual desires and be able to sacrifice for the team. Now, I think for all of us, it's this, you know, their gift and what they can do for the team and their individual desires, you know, you're constantly weighing that. And there can, can be a team, time where I think you, um, you say to yourself, this person's not going to fit in. And I always look at decisions like that on what's best for the team. And if you continue to let that person go and their individual part of their makeup is hurting the team, then I think that as a leader, you know, is something that you can't do. And so there comes a point every now and then where you got to say, look, for the team's sake, I think you'll be better someplace else. You don't fit in for us. And it's kind of amazing, really. If you look at our, football, our, our, our Super Bowl teams, there's an amazing stat there. And our three Super Bowl teams, roughly one half of those teams were free agents. What that meant was this. They weren't drafted out of college or they had gone to another team and been cut. But when we selected them to come in with us, you know, they fit in. They were part of the Redskins. Um, and, and those guys sometimes weren't the most gifted but they were the person that came early. They stay late. They got a great heart for the Redskins. And they were great team people. And you see that same in business. I'm here, a small business at Joe Gibbs Racing. It's the people that come early, stay late. You know, they got something to add around the office. They're not just wet diapers that lay there. <laughs> they got a personality, <laughs> you know? And so those are the people that kind of make up a great team.